Now, to warn you ahead, I happen to be a libertarian, so this video isn't anti-libertarian if that's what you're going for. Now, libertarian minarchism is something that could be okay after states learn how to behave, which they won't in a long time since in this era of statism, it's highly authoritarian and highly powerful. But what libertarianism itself does is it only gets rid of so much of a shard of these problems. You also need some anarchist or minarchist elements implemented into this. You need to get rid of the hierarchies. Let's say that we live in a an almost completely libertarian society there's almost no force, almost no aggression. There's a lot of hierarchies, there's a lot of states, there's a lot of uh, traditional economies that um, use a hierarchical format. This isn't like capitalism as I speak about it, where capitalists are very respectful and they're not the century even though they own the means of production well let's say it's all completely contractual there's no force there's no aggression it's 100 percent non-aggression and there's a constitutional document since this is the stereotypical libertarian society <clears throat> so there's a lot of hierarchies and authority but there's no force or coercion. However, if the rules aren't being played properly, if they're not playing by the rules, how will they be liable? Well, if a let's say a politician breaks some of the rules, then what's essentially going to happen is that maybe a, the politician will be removed but that hierarchy will still exist and because that hierarchy still remains um there isn't a true liability that occurred it's just a minor transformation that's why in the united states the united states looks at the treatment they've done to native americans the japanese and many others and they try to compensate for these decisions but they really didn't resolve a liability. There's so much liabilities that they made that they won't be able to pay. Because a lot of these stuff that the states do, although aren't forceful all the time, necessarily speaking, um, if they break those rules, if they start making the force, uh, how will they be liable if they don't play by the rules? That's why you need to get rid of at least a lot of the hierarchies if you want to be in a really good, proficient libertarian society. I mean, just look at what happened with Nixon and his uh, conspiracies. He was impeached, but that central hierarchy really hasn't dealt, dealt with much. It was all just some convoluted uh, firing. In fact, the politician in my local area two years ago who was removed despite getting elected, all he did was get removed with the help of the other members of the hierarchy. So really the hierarchy isn't liable, just a property of that hierarchy is held liable. And that isn't a very good thing. That's why you need to switch to a more conventional anarchist term and situation. Or at least have a lot of properties of anarchism so that this shit doesn't happen.